Hello everyone, my name is Eric, here with Oakland Tobacconist. Today, we want to solve that question, how do you get the most bang for your buck, here on Oakland Tobacconist. Right now, I'm smoking the Black Market Filthy Hooligan by Alec Bradley, the limited for 2022. If you're interested in this cigar or any other cigar I'm speaking of today, check us out at oaklandtobacconist.com. Welcome everyone to Oakland Tobacconist where we make the hard to find within reach. I am here to solve that problem and nagging question, how do you get the most bang for your buck? And of course, it always comes down to that type of question of what is the cheapest cigar? What is the best cheap cigar? Now, I thought about making a video of, hey, here's a handful of really, really affordable cigars that you are gonna find, hands down, probably the best prices around. However, that's not really the purpose of this video. I think there are many sides to that question, what is the best, cheapest cigar? Because every cigar and particular blend is in within its own category. You have your daily smokers where you're just gonna cut, you're gonna light up, maybe mow the lawn, do a bit of gardening, or work out in the garage, something like that, where you just want it something that you're smoking, you're probably not paying as much attention to, or that everyday stick that you do enjoy, but it's not gonna break the bank. That's what I think of when we hear initially, what is the best, cheapest cigar? However, there many different types of that. What is the best cheap gas station cigar? What is the best premium cigar? What is the best Cuban sandwich? What about limited cigar, high quality tobacco? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to handpick five cigars that I feel smoke above their price point and to sort of put out there on the radar, maybe it's a time to try this. Due to the price and what the cigar is, it's a truly great value. And within its own bracket, it's one of the best cheap cigars, if that makes sense. So with that stated, we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna break down five different cigars within their own categories. First of which I'm going to bring up is our very own Cedar Car Cigars House Blend, the Ashcat Torpedo. This Ashcat is extremely affordable. Whether you want something that is lighting up on an everyday smoke, you want to work while smoking it, its price point is pretty unbeatable given the fact it is a long filler premium cigar. This is a Ecuadorian Connecticut shade grown cigar with Nicaraguan binders and fillers. Its notes are more creamy, naturally sweet, a little bit of nut going on there's a lot of complexity and the construction when we were trying to figure out what we were gonna do for house blend my wife and I Mallory we were looking over many many different blends it took us over a year to finally land on what we would have represent our Connecticut and that is the ash cat very sweet creamy and for its price pretty unbeatable. Definitely one of the better cheap cigars. Next comes from a company that is a big favorite here. We all enjoy and its price is insanely good. That is this four and a half by 58 Pony from Tony Stalloni. This cigar is a fantastic blend, very, very complex. Now for a cigar at its price point, I think you're looking around the $5 range, something absurd. It is a decently long smoke, I would say about 45 minutes. Its gauge is really good. It reminds me kind of like of that nub side. The wrapper is Sumatra. Its strength level, however, is medium to medium plus. A lot of different things going on in the cigar. Great construction, great burn time, all long filler, and for its price, another really hard one to beat. If you're one who wants that kind of 45 minute to hour smoke, don't really have a long time to take a break, but you want to light something up and enjoy something of high quality for something very affordable, that would be the pony from Tony Stalloni. Now, we've mentioned a Connecticut and we've mentioned a Sumatra in the medium. Time to get to that heavier punch. I know for me, I'm always looking for a pretty like full-bodied cigar that I really enjoy. Maybe that's not gonna break the bank either. And that would come to the JFR Lunatic Maduro. This is the uh, Short Titan. This is a four and three quarter by 60 Mexican San Andreas Maduro. It has sort of this flag or pigtail on the top. This comes from Aganorsa's factory. As we all know, Aganorsa's uh, quality is very, very high. And so when they, you see an inflection of a very affordable cigar, all long filler, but also a heavy hitting Maduro that's pretty well balanced. That's what I think of when I see the Short Titan. It's got a ton of flavor, a Mexican hot chocolate, a blast of pepper, dark earth, a lot of like hints at cedar notes and such like that, but a lot going on for its price. Also under the $9 range, this cigar's blend is fantastic. If you want a heavy hitter, that's definitely in there. And this is where I would get into the more affordable, full strength, pretty well balanced, category, and that would be the JFR Maduro Short Titan. The next cigar we come to is the one I'm smoking, the Filthy Hooligan Black Market by Alec Bradley. 
This is a 6x52 Toro. It is a barber pole. It uses a Habano and Candela wrappers, and it's a limited. They release it only once a year. Why is this on the list? Because its price is fantastic, its smoking experience is very, very good, and it's a limited cigar. A lot of times when these limiteds get dropped, you're looking at pretty high dollar prices trying to get a hold of that limited for that year. Filthy Hooligan, however, is far more affordable than a lot of LEs out there, and its smoking experience is complexity incarnate. You have that Candela and Habano wrappers working at the same time to promote flavors like cream and oakiness and vanilla, a little bit of spice, a lot of things going on. And once again, it's limited, so once it's gone, it's gone. For its price point, it is outstanding. That is the Black Market Filthy Hooligan by Alec Bradley. Now we come to our last cigar. I know a lot of people are gonna give me grief for this because it's technically not a cheap cigar. Its price point is pretty high, but the reason I had to put it in here is I feel like the primings of tobacco and the pure quality of this cigar really sets it above its smoking price point. When I think of this cigar, I think it in categories like Liga Pravada. I think it in categories of like Tabernacle or Padron or some of those high quality tobaccos that you will find, high quality blends that are really hard to come by and for its price, relatively pretty reasonable in comparison to others. I'm speaking none other than the Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust Mi Carita Broadleaf. This cigar, especially in this size, 6x48, has a great price point and very high primings of tobacco. The flavor, the construction. Steve Saka has said himself, the purpose of engineering certain blends that he does, he always requires the smoke to be coming off of the foot and through the head of the cigar as well. There's attention to detail in this cigar. You have hot, you have dark cocoa, you have a creamy chocolatiness to it. You also have notes of like oaky and espresso and a lot of these deep, deep notes. It's completely well balanced. The complexity in this cigar and it's balanced to strength. That is why Mi Carita has to be on this list of the best cheap cigars. So there you have it, everyone. That is a list of five amazing sticks within their own brackets and why they're placed on the best cheap cigars. If you're interested in any of these, check them out at oaklandtobacconist.com. Thank you all for your continued support and make sure everyone has a blessed St. Patty's Day coming up. Enjoy a few cigars on that fine holiday. We will see you soon. Thank you all for smoking with us here on Oakland Tobacconist.